everyone, it's Sonia Elsie here and for today's video I'm going to be doing a 2016 kind of overview video where I just talk about everything that I did and everything that I learned. And I kind of also wanted to talk about my New Year's resolutions that I had last year and how those turned out and my ones for this year. So let's get started. I feel like I haven't done one of these videos where I just like talk to you guys about stuff in a long time. And I don't know, I just think that it's really fun to do these. So I'm just gonna be going through the different months and telling you guys what I did and just fun, fun stuff that I learned, I guess. So in January, I got back from Mexico. My dad's Christmas present to the family was to take us to Mexico and we had never been before. So that was really cool. So I went to Mexico for the first time. Then when I got back, I hit 5,000 subscribers, which was really exciting. My goal, for 2015 was actually to hit a thousand subscribers and I hit 5,000 subscribers. And then I started winter quarter at the community college that I was going to. I was in high school, but I was doing a running start program. So I was taking community college classes and high school classes that were just helping me get my AA and also my high school graduation, which was pretty lit. So I started winter quarter and I was taking this terrible online math class, which I hated so much, I did so badly in, but you know, I passed and that's all that matters. And I just, I had really weird eyebrows in January. I'm gonna insert some pictures here of how my eyebrows looked. I used to just do them really extreme, like really extreme. I just got done with Vlogmas where every day, or at least I tried to upload every day a video and I was really just like stepping up my YouTube game. I was just, you know, learning how to edit better, learning how to talk better in videos, learning just how to do better at YouTube. And in January, Stella and I actually bought our VidCon tickets to go to VidCon in June. So this was really cool because we were gonna fly down there on our own and we were just thinking about it the whole year. We were literally like, oh my gosh, in June we're gonna go down to California. It's gonna be so lit, like sunny, oh my gosh. In February, mostly I just did a lot of schoolwork. I was focusing on school. I was working at the grocery store that I worked at and I was doing some YouTube stuff. I was working out a little bit at the gym. I was, you know, just eating food, living my life. And then in February, I actually decided to go vegan. I was just watching all of these vegan YouTubers and I was getting inspiration. I thought that I never could be vegan, which is why I was vegetarian for like a year before. And I was like, well, I don't know, maybe I should just try going vegan. I'll try it for a couple of weeks. And then I made a YouTube video, which for me kind of was like, officially I'm going vegan because now that I put it out there, I can't be like, oh no, I'm not vegan anymore. Like everyone would be so upset. So I was really trying to stick with it. It was hard at first, but then I watched Cowspiracy and I was like, this is the right decision. I'm definitely going to stay vegan. And yeah, on February 26th, I went vegan. I also went down to Seattle with my boyfriend. It was kind of the first time we'd gone to Seattle. So it was really cool. And we went to this museum and we saw some butterflies, which were really cool. In March, I turned 18 and Stella made this video for me that I literally cried watching because it was so cute, but I was so excited to turn 18. I was finally able to have access to my own bank account because with my bank, um, if you're underage, you don't have access to it, which is really annoying because I was making all my own money, but I was finally able to have access to my own bank account and my dad signed over my car to my name so I officially own my car it's not under my dad's name because I'm not 12 anymore. In April I went on this random ass road trip to Canada to visit my aunt and uncle and just chill with them and my dad and my brother went and we just kind of explored Canada. We went to Penticton, which was a really cool drive, and we got to go over the mountains of Canada, and it was just very, very beautiful. And then I also went to the Tulip Festival with Stella, which was really cool because we got to take a lot of flower IGs, and you know, I'm a fiend for them IGs. I also hit my one year anniversary on YouTube, which was really exciting for me. I made a video about it. I was like, oh my god, you guys, it's been a year. Like, it's so fucking lit. And I started volunteering more at the Humane Society in my city, and just petting a lot of cats because I fucking love cats. In May, um, I actually bought crystals for the first time, which I don't really know why I felt the need to put that in this video, but I was just really excited about it. I was getting really into them and I started collecting them then. I also started a vlog channel, which was cool. I started vlogging a little bit on there and just 
kind of vlogging more than I usually would. I got an email from VidCon that was like, VidCon's less than a month away, how do you feel? And I was like, I am fucking excited, bitch. And then Stella and I actually burned a lot of our old stuff and people on the internet got mad about it, but um, chill. Um, which was really cool. I don't know, we just kind of got rid of a lot of our things and just burn some old memories and let go. <laughs> and then we had our first meetup in Seattle, which was so exciting. It was the first time that I'd ever met anyone subscribed to my YouTube channel and it was really cool. People were so nice. They asked for pictures, which to me was just like shocking. I was like, why would anyone want a picture with me? I'm literally so boring. I'm, I thought that mostly everyone would just want to hang out with Stella and stuff and I was just like her friend and whatever, but people actually wanted pictures with me, which I thought was really cool. So thank you so much, you guys, for just being like really awesome. I love you. In June, I was in a play at my community college and that was when I finally got over my stage fright and where I realized that I really liked acting, actually. I had never really thought about it. My dad would always say like, oh, you should look into acting, like you're the perfect height for it, which was so random. And I was always like, yeah, dad, like whatever. But I was in that play and I realized that I love being the center of attention and it was just really cool. And I got over my stage fright because I used to have the worst stage fright. I would stand up in front of a crowd, my hands would be shaking, my lips would be quivering, my whole face would just be like, uh, I would be literally freaking out, but I got over my stage fright, which was huge for me, and I performed not in front of a lot of people, like I performed in front of, you know, a, a small auditorium of people, but it still helped me get over my stage fright, and it was just a really cool experience, and I met some cool people, and I learned a lot of stuff. And I finally graduated high school, as a lot of you guys don't know, I'm actually... 18 and I was in high school like two seconds ago, so I finally graduated. I actually hated high school kind of a lot, so this was awesome. I finally did it. I had a pretty average GPA. I was off to community college the next year and it was lit. June, I also uh, quit my job and I had had this job for two years and it was kind of scary to quit. Um, because I wasn't sure if it was the right decision. The day after my last day, I was like, oh god, like what have I done? How am I gonna make money? Because then YouTube was gonna be my full-time job and that was really scary to me because as maybe some of you guys know, YouTube income is really, really random and it's not really stable at all. With that job, I at least, you know, I knew I was gonna get this amount of money per month about, but with YouTube, it's like, some months you might make some money and some months you might not. So that was kind of scary, but it was also really cool. And I was able to step out of my comfort zone and work harder on YouTube and just get away from that shitty company and that shitty boss. And so I actually went to VidCon in June, which was so exciting. Um, I got to meet so many people. I met so many YouTubers. I met my subscribers and it was just so cool to take pictures with YouTubers that I loved and to take pictures with subscribers, which was so cool. I like, I'm so just like, I don't know. I feel like I'm not really, a popular YouTuber at all. Like, as you guys can tell, I don't have a huge amount of subscribers, but the fact that people wanted to take pictures with me and, like, talk to me it was really, really cool, so thank you to anyone that came up to me that was fucking lit. And I met so many people. I met Izzy, I met Ian, I met just, like, so many people that I'm friends with now, which was really cool. And then after that, Stella and I stayed at Mr. Mrs. Vegan's house, and it was just so cool. I was literally, like, the happiest ever. Um, it was just so cool to be in LA and just realize that this is where I want to live someday. I love it here. I love the people. I love the sunshine. I love just like everything. I don't know. I just loved it so much. So in July, um, Stella and I were like, uh, let's go back to LA because we miss it. So we went back to LA and we hung out with all of our friends and ate some food. And we also randomly went to Mexico, which was pretty lit as hell. Um, just took the train down there. They walked across the border and we were like, hey, we're in Mexico. And it was so beautiful there. Um, I'd been to Mexico before, but I went to Cabo, which looks kind of different. But it was so 
beautiful and it was so just like sunny and everyone was happy. It was actually for the 4th of July that we went to Mexico so that was really cool. So on the way back from LA I had actually promised my dad that I would road trip with him so I went to Oakland, California. I actually flew there and my dad picked me up and then we road tripped from there all the way home. We'd gone down to visit my family and it was so beautiful. We got to see this lighthouse, we got to see the redwood forest, we got to see the coast and then on the way back we picked up my brother who is at Boy Scout camp randomly. But if you guys ever road trip somewhere, I would definitely recommend road tripping along the west coast. It is so beautiful and I loved it so much and it was just so cool to see like the trees change as we went to different places and to see all of the different beaches and stuff. So Michael's watching me film this. Do you want to do you want to come uh, show how you look right now? Hey guys. Do you look really good? Yeah. Also in July, I randomly decided to get an ASMR microphone and I kind of stepped up my ASMR channel game, which was pretty lit. And Stella turned 18, so I got to celebrate that with her family and we were just like, yay, we're finally both not underage. We can do adult stuff. So in August, it was my boyfriend and I's one year anniversary and it was actually the longest relationship I've ever been in and still to date, I've never dated a boy for a year, so it was pretty lit. And we went down to Seattle and we had this little trip and we played Pokemon and we went up to the Space Needle and we just, you know, chilled and did boyfriend and girlfriend stuff, you know. And then also as part of Stella's birthday present, we went to Port Townsend, which is just this little town that I've gone to for kind of a long time. I went there with my family when I was a lot younger and I wanted to revisit it and it's just really pretty. I definitely recommend if you guys live in Washington, you should definitely check it out. And then we actually went back to Los Angeles because we were craving it again, I guess. And we stayed at this sketchy Airbnb and we met up with Cammie and Claire, which was really cool. And we also had another meetup, which was awesome. I got to take pictures with a lot of you guys. And we had food, like everyone brought food and it was so amazing. There were like cookies and snacks and just like literally the best stuff. So it was so cool to meet all of you guys. Thank you to anyone who came. And in September, I actually started my first quarter of like real college, I guess. I was at this community college before when I was in high school, but this is my first quarter where I was like, outside of high school and just kind of like a college student and not just like a running start student. So that was cool. And I got a scholarship from the Explorer post that I'm in, which really helped me pay for my college. So thank you, Explorers. And then I randomly became really obsessed with Pokemon and played Pokemon Go literally every single day. Me and my boyfriend would go to this random park and just play Pokemon for like hours. And it was kind of a problem. So in October, I was randomly like, hey, I want to go to Paris. A few months ago, Stella was like, hey, do you want to go to Paris? And I was like, um, I'm poor, like I can't do it. But then I was like, no, I'm going to make the money to do it. So I decided that I was going to go to Paris. It was my first time ever flying alone internationally because Stella had actually gone a few days earlier. So I was kind of nervous. I was kind of scared and I'd never been alone in a country where I don't speak the language. So I first got there and I was like, what the fuck am I doing? But then this lovely girl, Logan, came and saved the day and helped me through the metro system. She was really nice. Um, shout out Logan if you're watching this. But it was so cool. Paris is just so different from any place that I've ever been. And it was amazing to see all the buildings and to see the Eiffel Tower, which is talked about so much. And I've just seen pictures of the Eiffel Tower literally everywhere. Like, if you live in the United States or literally anywhere, you see the Eiffel Tower on literally everything. I don't know why it's so hyped, but it was really cool to finally see it and we got to go up in the Eiffel Tower and then we actually went to Belgium to visit Ian and we got to see him perform and I'd never been to Belgium and basically it kind of all looks like a farm. Like all of Belgium looks like a farm, but it was very beautiful and I actually got to meet a lot of you guys at Ian's concert, which was so cool. So thank you to anyone who came and said hi to us, it was really nice. And then when I got back from Paris, I went to Leicester, Washington, which is like an abandoned ghost town. And I went there with my boyfriend and it was a pretty, 
pretty interesting adventure if you want to watch the vlog I will link it down below but it was just it was hard to drive there and it was very creepy but it was really cool and I'm glad that I went so in November I actually had my very first vegan Thanksgiving last Thanksgiving I was vegetarian but this Thanksgiving I was vegan so we had vegan turkey vegan mashed potatoes vegan coleslaw cranberry sauce all of this really good veganized stuff and I had never thought that I would have had a vegan Thanksgiving. Every like Thanksgiving, I was always so obsessed with meat or so obsessed with cream and stuff. So to have a vegan Thanksgiving was really cool to me. And my family actually was okay with having a vegan Thanksgiving. They were like, yeah, we're okay with not having a turkey this year, which was very exciting to me because I like my turkey friends not to be dead. So it was cool that my family was like, yeah, we'll have a vegan Thanksgiving. So. Thank you to my family for being so supportive. In December, I was like, yeah, I kind of want to go to LA again. So I went to LA um, and I stayed with Mr. and Mrs. Vegan and Stella actually missed her flight. So I was there alone for a few days, but it was still cool. And then Stella came later and I got to see Mrs. Vegan before she gave birth. And it was just so cool to hang out with them. And I don't know, they're such nice people and it's so cool that they always let us stay at their place, which is so beautiful. So thank you so much to Mr. and Mrs. Vegan for letting us <laughs> stay with you. So I actually hung out with a few of my friends and I went to this Malibu temple with my friend Ashley, which was really cool. And she had talked about it. She said she wanted to go for a long time and I was like, yeah, let's do it. So we vlogged it. It was just such a beautiful experience and the energy there was really cool. It was a lot smaller than I had expected, but it was still... Lit. And then on the last day of 2016, I went to the airport with my friend Stella because she was moving to Los Angeles and it was really just like, I don't know, I wasn't sad because Los Angeles isn't that far away from Bellingham. I feel like it's literally just a two second plane ride and I was just really happy for her to know that she was following her dreams that I would soon be moving to Los Angeles after her. So that was my 2016 in a recap. And I learned just so much this year. I grew a lot as a person. I learned a lot about YouTube. I learned a lot about people. I learned a lot about myself. It was really cool to be able to travel alone for the first time, to travel internationally. And it was so cool that I was just given these opportunities. And I just wanted to say thank you so much to you guys for following me along this journey and watching my vlogs and leaving such nice comments and following me on Instagram and Snapchat, whatever. It wouldn't have been the same kind of year if I didn't have you guys in my life. And I'm just so thankful for you guys. So thank you so much for being in my life. I love and appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. But talking a little bit about my New Year's resolutions, off the top of my head I can remember some of my New Year's resolutions and one of them was to hit 20,000 subscribers and I actually hit 29,000 subscribers so I'm gonna pat myself on the back because I achieved my goal and then I had a goal of hitting like 10,000 followers on Instagram and I actually hit 20,000 and then I think I talked about just complimenting people more and I actually just I did do that like I started complimenting people more I started just being nicer and less judgmental because I know that in the past I've been really just judgmental towards girls boys anyone and even now I guess I'll catch myself being a little bit judgmental but I try to just be as open-minded as possible and realize that everyone is a different person and that everyone can do whatever the fuck they want as long as it makes them happy so I started just being so much nicer to everyone I guess and though I'm still Sonia Petty Elsie I have just learned to be a kinder soul and to be less angry which is a good thing, I think. Um, one of my resolutions also was to step up my game on the ASMR channel, which I think I did. Even though I didn't upload a huge amount of videos, now I've started uploading, like, you know, more consistently, and I got a new microphone. If you guys don't know what ASMR is, I'm sorry. If you didn't know I have an ASMR channel and you like ASMR, go subscribe to it because, I don't know, some people say I have a relaxing voice because I have a really deep voice I guess. And my resolutions for this year are pretty similar I guess. I would love to hit a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube and I don't know if I can do it but I'm going to try as hard as I can and I'm gonna say it so that you know I'm just manifesting my goals I guess. I'm going to envision myself with a hundred thousand subscribers and hopefully like that will I don't know. <laughs> I'll get there. And I know that some people might be mad that I'm maybe choosing to focus on a number. To me, it just shows that I've worked really hard on my channel and that I've built an audience. And I don't know. I just... 
it's just a goal if I don't hit it, it's okay, but I would I would love to hit it. It'd be a really lit achievement for me. I also would really like to move to Los Angeles in May. That is when I've decided that I am ready to move. I will have graduated college by then, hopefully, and will probably have enough money to move down there, so I'm just, I'm really excited. I think I had some more resolutions, but I kind of forgot them. They're written somewhere in a list up in my room. But thank you guys so much for following me along my journey. I've never documented a full year of my life on YouTube. This was the first year that I've done that. I'm really excited to keep documenting my life for many years to come. So thank you guys so much for being part of my journey. I love you so much. Be sure to comment your New Year's resolutions down below or your goals or just anything cool that you did this year or things that you plan on doing next year, I guess. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.